All right, so we're gonna do a little quick comparison between two um, similarly priced 3D printers. Um, over here we have the, on the left, we have the Monoprice Select Mini. Uh, retails for 199, and it's been a great little workhorse. I'm very, very impressed by this guy. Um, pretty small print bed, but I mean, for the price, it just performs so well. And over here, we have a Kickstarter item. This is a Tico Delta 3D printer. Um, looks really nice. Um, has a lot of promise, but um, this is the initial test print that it shipped with. And I don't know if you can see the video, but it's pretty, pretty horrible quality. Um, now, I thought maybe it's the filament. Maybe the filament's just really bad. And so what I did is I took some filament that I've had, have had good success with, this BAMTAC uh, PLA, kind of bright green stuff. I've printed out multiple things on the Mini, um, doing great. So like this is, this is a fully functional hinge for an enclosure I'm making, a uh, gimbal holder for my, my quadcopter, uh, GPS isolation plate. These turned out really well, like very, very good quality prints. So I know the filament's good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that filament in the Tico, and then take this other filament that I, that I suspect is kind of crappy, it's called the PLA Gem Blue that the Tico ships with. I'm gonna print it on my Mini, just to see if it's, if it's the fault of the filament or if the printer itself is just not to snuff. So let's do a quick time-lapse comparison. They're both gonna print out this hinge and we'll see what happens. The print finished. Uh, the Tico finished first, but um, first isn't always first, as you can see by the quality of this print. Uh, really bad layer shifting. Just layer adhesions are pretty bad. It's just <laughs> overall ugly. I doubt it'll even work as a hinge. Um, now, over here we have the Monoprice Mini, which printed using the, the filament that I suspected was kind of crappy, but honestly, it printed really well. So. I don't think it's the fault of the filament. I think the Tico is just having some major issues. I don't know if it's the slicing software or the hardware itself, but again, just really poor. And again, this is the same filament, but printed off the Mini as uh, we use in the Tico here. So you can see a pretty, pretty drastic difference between the two. So I'm really hoping that the Tico can uh, up its game with either this, you know, maybe a software update, better slicing application, who knows. But as of right now, the Monoprice Mini is by far hands down the winner in this uh, 3D print off.